Welcome back to this week's Bailey Built. Each week we take you through fun DIY projects around the house and it's getting a little cold outside so it's time to head indoors. This week I've got four ways that you can hang a nice photo or painting on your wall with no drill required. Here's how it's done. First up is a decorative hook by Hillman. The hook is made to work with drywall. The package says it can hold up to 20 pounds. It comes in several different metallic finishes. After reading the instructions, I took the hook over to my test wall. It's made of half inch thick drywall. I pulled out the bracket and pressed the side with the sharp legs into the drywall. I found that the legs sliced right into the drywall forming a firm connection. This allowed the top of the bracket to fold down allowing for four different points of connection to the wall. Next, it was time to remove the square plastic fitting. I found that the plastic took a little extra pressure to squeeze together, but once I did, it came right out. Once folded, the bracket hook emerges, and the decorative hook can be slid on top. A quick glance at the back of the drywall revealed that the four points make it through the drywall, but don't puncture through the back. That's an added benefit, especially when hanging items on walls where there's PEX water tubing running behind the drywall. Next up is the wall dog. It's a simple threaded screw that has the benefit of being able to be used in a variety of materials from drywall to wood to concrete. This wall dog is rated for 50 pounds. On the test wall, the wall dog seemed to perform exactly like it said it could. I simply inserted my electric screwdriver and began. Once it was fully into the wall, you could see a fair amount of it sticking through the back of the drywall. I'd like to thank our friends over at Ace for giving us a hand in locating all these different options. We can find links to them in the description below. The next option is an office variety pack made by Monkey Hook. Now the pack carries three different sizes and strengths and the kit comes with 10 hooks for each of the three sets. At the test wall, I took a quick glance at the back of the package. There you find the step-by-step -step instructions as well as the weight ratings for each of the hooks. The kit also comes with two install guides one red and one black. Take the guide and place it right where you want to hang the item on the wall. Go ahead and place the guide back in the kit and now you reinsert the hook into the same hole rotating it clockwise once it's fully in. This gives the top of the hook contact with the back of the drywall ultimately adding more support to hold up your frame. Lastly, but certainly not least, was this picture hanging set. The hangers had a simple design with a rating of 100 pounds. In fact, it held the most weight. On the test wall, I used one hand to hold the hook flush against the drywall. Next, I placed the nail in the top and side slot and gently tapped the nail into the drywall, inserting it at an angle as well, similar to the wall dog. Once fully seated, the angled nail pierced the drywall, creating a rather firm connection with the hook. I felt comfortable hanging a good sized frame from it. All right, well, after trying all four of the wall hooks out, they all work pretty good. Now, they have a wide variety of weights that they can hold. And if you're going to hang a big picture, here's one little bonus tip for you. Grab some of these command strips. They'll help out to balance your picture if it doesn't sit exactly the way you want it to on the wall. If you love this DIY video and other DIY tips, all you have to do is click subscribe, smash that like button, and stay tuned until the next Bailey Bill.